What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and Microsoft Forms. Microsoft Forms have been around for a few years now. They are a simple web form that people can fill in. You can do a few things with them, so you can make them as quizzes, you can be them, have them be just general information, and you can get those responses and you know do some stuff with the data. So what we'll look at today is how to use those uh, in this in, in Power Automate. So let's take a look at it. Now, uh, I'm in Power Automate here, and I can go to the Microsoft Forms connector here, and we see there is a single trigger. So the trigger is when a form, where a new response is submitted. So click on that, and the first thing it asks me for is the Forms ID, and that's all I need. So I'm going to scroll down and find all our forms. We'll find this one, Quiz 1. And that's all we need. Now, the thing about uh, Microsoft Forms is that um, when you this trigger is literally just a trigger, so it, all it's going to do is just trigger the trigger the flow. It's not going to really give me much uh, information. So what you need to do in the first instance is go to Microsoft Forms again, find the connector, and choose Get Response Details. So this is a two for this is two this two uh, trigger an action in in one video here. Uh, now I say I don't give you guys anything. Uh, again, it's asking for a form ID, so I choose quiz one, and the response ID is going to be this trigger here. So we'll look around dynamic content, and we'll find that's the only piece of dynamic content we actually get back. So we choose that, and then we can trigger it. So. Um, I've, I've always been quite a fan of Microsoft Forms. Um, it's a really simple and easy way to like collect data from people. The only problem has always been is like where the data is stored and how the data is stored. So Power Automate allows you to go and get that data and pull it back. And I'll kind of show you what I mean. So for this, I'm going to click on test and I'll perform the trigger action and click test and that'll start running. Switch over to my Microsoft Form. Um, I just want to show you kind of what this looks like. So um, I've got a form here. It's really quick and easy to add things on. So I've added just two options, but we can add uh, a bunch of other fields like text fields and rating fields and date fields, um, the rankings, the next promoter store. We can upload files now. Um, so there's loads of great things you can do with forms. I'm a big advocate of Microsoft Forms. They've been really good, um, albeit just a, a little simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to preview this. And then we're going to run the quiz. So we're going to say, right, this is the right answer, and this is the right answer. We're going to click Submit, and that's it. So we can click on View Results. Um, I'm sorry, go back. We can click on Responses, and we can see that this is the this is the data from my responses. So all the different people that take this quiz and answer these questions, we get the data in here. But it's just kind of stored in here. It doesn't really go anywhere. It's not stored um, in your CDS instance because this isn't Forms Pro. It's just kind of stored in, in you know, kind of mystery locations. Um, but there is a there is an open in Excel button here and you can open it and stuff. But this doesn't really give you much in the way of like, you know, interoperability with your data. So if we switch back to our flow, we can see it's run. And if we expand this, we can see this, this is the form ID here. Uh, we've got an output switch is just click to download. It doesn't really contain anything useful. Um, and then we can see get response details here. The get response details gives me some information. So it gives me um, the, the answers to the two questions. So what is the answer right and what is the answer real answer, real answer. It also gives me the email address of the person that responded it. So because I'm logged in, um, it actually knows my email address, but we can set these up to be anonymous as well. Um, we have the submission time, so when I submitted it, um, right there, and then we can see the body which contains this information as well. So this is one thing to note about uh, Microsoft Forms, is like a lot, unlike a lot of the um, triggers, we actually don't get much in the way of like useful information. All we really get is that ID that we're getting back. So the first thing you really need to do whenever you're triggering this is use the get response details action and that'll pull data back for you. So the first time I ever used Microsoft Flow as it was previously known, now Power Automate, was actually using it for forms. So what a customer came to me and they said, um, I want to uh, collect some user, some user data and then I want to create a lead in my system with it. Now, uh, this was like 
three-ish years ago, two, three years ago, uh, back before Power Automate or Microsoft Flow as it was known then, uh, was really a big thing. It was kind of still in its infancy. It was, it was only out for a year or two at that point. And Microsoft Forms is a new thing that came out as well. So the first flow I ever built was to um, get the response submitted, take the response details, and then create a lead from it. And it was the very first flow, really simple, just a few steps. But I never understood, why well, I didn't get at the time, why I needed to get the response details because I'm used to workflows in CDS or Dynamics. Like once you trigger a flow, you have all that data. And that's where I began to understand that Power Automate or Microsoft Flow was a little bit different from the workflows and the classic workflows that I've previously known. But workflows were, were, were what inspired me to get into Dynamics. And then once I found Power, Power Automate, it's what inspired me to go further with the Power Platform and everything else. So a little bit of history there. Uh, sorry for taking up your time, but uh, yeah, I hope this video was useful. If you did find it useful, if you could drop a like or uh, share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.